fighters loyal to Yemen's president in exile, Abd Rabu Mansour Hadi, come under fire northwest of Aden. A fighter is injured on the ground and they're trying to rescue him without being shot. Houthi rebels, along with forces loyal to former President Ali Abdullah Saleh, have been trying to push their way into this area. And these fighters loyal to Hadi are trying to prevent the port city falling under Houthi control. Street-to-street -street battles continue in the centre of the city, with tanks and heavy shelling also trying to force the Houthis to retreat or surrender. Further north in Ta'iz, the birthplace of the uprising which ousted Saleh in 2011, pro-government forces take control of an area of the city. Ta'iz is seen as the gateway to southern Yemen and both sides are fighting hard to control it. But the humanitarian situation is only worsening. There's a lack of fuel as well as essentials like food and water. After a month of bombing, most people in Yemen want the war to end. In the city of Ib, north of Ta'iz, people demand an end to what they describe as a Houthi coup and call for the implementation of the United Nations peace plan. Despite Saudi Arabia indicating the aerial bombing is over, airstrikes have continued on the cities of Aden, Ta'iz and Sana. In the village of Atan, south of the capital, people say they're too frightened to stay. There used to be 54 houses with 75 households living in them, but after the airstrikes, nobody lives here. Saudi Arabia and its partners have repeatedly said they will not stop their military attacks until President Hadi is reinstated, a demand the Houthis have so far rejected. So for people in Yemen, the fighting and the misery continues. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.